this thing's gone. Yeah, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming. And that often is the case when it comes to special teams. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown. And this is caught. Right along the sideline, what a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And quickly to Kelsey. And the Chiefs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And again, it's Mahomes. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards Elaire taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will tie our game here in the third. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. On the return, it's McKenzie. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. Allen's throw here pulled in by Beasley. And they work this well upfield across the 45. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Here's Allen to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion since. Being chased out left. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked off by Melvin Ingram. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. On first down now, run with McKinnon. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. The last run got six, now second and four. Working from the gun, Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. They'll look to pick it up with McKinnon. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill. 
his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs, on the final play of the third quarter, have taken the lead. Butker on for the PAT. It's up and good, and they've jumped back ahead, 35-28. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Butker now to kick this one away. McKenzie returning it. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Here's Allen on first and ten. Flush to his right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. On the give, this is Singletary. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Now Allen. Flushed out right. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. I need to get my swag oh, right there. No, he lost the football. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity missed. It definitely was because that's all defense is talking about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That could be a little bit deflating. Exactly right. A lost opportunity. Shavarius Ward in on the tackle. Second and eight. Singletary again. Singletary, a first down and more. And finally taken down at the 15. 65 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Oh, it breaks another. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. They run here with Singletary. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. They'll run here with Singletary. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. On third down, they go with Singletary. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two.
And now the decision is to go for two. A gutsy call in this, in effect, is your ball game right here. And he's going to get in for the two points. It was an incredibly gutsy call, but they've taken the lead by a point late in the game. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one, whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. We'll see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. One final try for Mahomes. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is 